Brown Support and Live Comedy. We still got a good crowd here, so I want you to really pump it up for your next comedian. Clap with me. brother and no it's just it's not just a TV show that's better in every other country um, it's also a thing that people have been afraid of since 1984 the book about the year the book was out before the year I'm pretty sure any event when people think about Big Brother they tend to focus on all the negatives like the fact that the government or the Masons or DirecTV, whoever owns the satellites and bugs or whatever, are listening to everything you say and they've completely invaded your privacy. But people don't focus on the positives of that. How many people are afraid of dying alone? Never gonna happen when you're never alone. It can't happen. And like, you know, if there are people watching all of our actions and listening to all of our conversations 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that's got to make some jobs. <laughs> and people, you know, there's going to be corruption, so people got to be watching those more jobs. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> and, you know, they're watching you all the time, constantly taking footage of you. There's got to be a thing where at the end of the month you can, like, send away for a best of tape. You know, you ask someone to throw you a lighter and they throw it to you and you catch it like right as you can light it. You finish your soda, you finish it up, you toss it right over your shoulder and it goes right in the trash can and no one was around to see it. Send on a little disc. And you know, the other day when I was taking a shit and puking at the same time and none of the puke hit my dick, that shit is golden! No one saw it. They don't believe my stories anymore. And you know, if you want to make the trade-off, yes, there's someone watching you all the time, listening to everything you say. But that same person or someone like them is watching me all the time and listening to everything I say. That means that person listened to a 10-minute conversation between me and my friend David where we only said the word meow. <laughs> And they've seen me jumping up and down in the bathroom, trying to see how far on my stomach I can make my balls touch without slamming them so hard against my stomach that it hurts. They have hours of that. So, you know, there's a trade-off. Has anyone, anyone watched the NFC champ, the AFC champ, the football this last week? Yeah, exactly. I'm a huge Giants fan, and people like to make fun of our quarterback, Eli Manning. They say he's got a face like a special kid. It's bullshit. You know, like he's maybe challenged because of his facial expressions. And I say to those people, hey, Helen Keller was retarded, and she wrote that whole book about being trapped in the closet and hiding from the Nazis. <laughs> so shut up. I love sports. I'm a big Mets fan too, which is a lot like being in an abusive relationship. Like people walk in on me all the time, and I'm crying, and I'm downtrodden, and they're like, what's the matter? I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. And they're like, what's the matter? And they press the issue, so I'm like, the Mets lost again. And they're upset because they're like, we told you that the Mets were going to be bad, and you just keep going back to them season after season. I'm like, if you don't understand, it's so much better than you give them credit for. You don't know what they said to me when we're alone. I love them, and I love you. Thank you, McCormick. I've been Brian Garland. Brian Garland, everybody. That's right. That's right. I've got a 1 800 number for you. Um, we just got a couple more comments coming to the stage. So I want you to give them your full attention. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a great night. We're going to round it off with our last two comments of the evening. Coming to the stage right now, this guy runs the uh, Fallout Open Mic. Is that the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month? Second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. 
Barely across the street, so there's plenty of stand-up comedy around town. Please give it up for Mr. Joshua Saucier. <laughs> How's everyone's New Year going? Yeah. This is good. We're almost through January. It's all we can all stop talking about New Year. Like that, you get your 112 the way through, and then it's just year. You're good. I uh, I'm actually very excited. I uh, I don't normally make New Year's resolutions. I don't buy into that shit. I made one this year. I'm 30. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a New Year's resolution. I'm gonna stick by it. I have so far, what is this? 25 days into the month. Every single day of the year, every single day of 2012, I have worn pants. I am proud of myself. <laughs> I'm sticking with that shit. And it's hard, because I don't really get the point of pants. Like, these are just kind of a waste of clothes. The only thing pants do is keep my ankles warm and keep my junk out of your face. And that's redundant, because I'm fat, and my personality usually keeps my junk out of your face. <laughs> Uh, what's actually been really annoying is, I don't know if it was a New Year's resolution of hers or not, but my mom has decided she's going to call me every day of the year. Every single day, my mom calls me. She's all like, hey, do you have a real job yet? Hey, are you seeing anyone yet? Hey, come downstairs and put the dishes away. <laughs> God, Mom, I'm playing Nintendo! <laughs> I I lied a little bit there. Uh, my Nintendo I actually keep downstairs, so. <laughs> but you know, I took artistic liberties for the joke. Uh, I'm actually uh, I've decided I'm in an abusive codependent relationship with Nintendo of America because I don't buy any new games from them. I just buy games I grew up with like eight times. I just keep buying them. They keep re-releasing them. They're like, yeah, it's 50 bucks! It's a Game Boy game, like the black and white ones. But you can play it on your Wii! Okay. Do I, like, stick the cartridge in? No, you have to download it all over again! Fuck you, Nintendo. <laughs> um, Mom, buy me this game. <laughs> there, I saved it. Uh, no, I, uh... I don't know. Topic shift. I, uh, I like, uh, like, super nerdy shit. Like, I grew up in the 80s. I love my classic stuff. I play the classic video games. I watch the classic TV shows. All the stuff I grew up with. Early 90s, late 80s. Like, uh, DuckTales. I love DuckTales. Watch the episode. Uh, no, it was great, right? Uh, and actually, I found out, I was on Wikipedia. Um, did you guys know that uh, Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge aren't actually related. It's just, no, it's just a nickname. Yeah, you guys thought they were related. You racist pieces of shit. <laughs> Not all ducks are related. God. Uh, what's weird, though, I find that as an adult, like, when I look at shit from my childhood, it's all racist. I don't know if, like, I'm painting it with a weird racist brush, but everything I grew up with is racist. All right. I just proved that DuckTales is racist. Uh, the Muppets. I love The Muppets. They're a great franchise. They're still awesome. They got a brand new movie. Racist as shit. Not because the only brown Muppet is the janitor. Because that guy's Mexican. That just makes sense. No, they sneak it past you. They color code it differently, right? Because the Muppets aren't real people. All the green Muppets are racist stereotypes, right? They're all black people, okay? Oscar the Grouch is the only homeless Muppet. Dr. Teeth has got gold chains and bling in his mouth, all right? I know, Kermit the Frog, right? Kermit the Frog is the star of the Muppets. He is THE Muppet. He's the only one who dates a fat white chick. <laughs> he knows what pig's feet taste like. <laughs> all right, everybody, you've been very good tonight. Thank you. We're coming down to our last comedian tonight. Thank you all for sticking around. I want you to give this next man a big round of applause. Last but not least, Mr. Leo Marena. Yeah! I'm closing out the minority portion of this show, guys. That's how it goes. I'm, just to give you a heads up, I am not Mexican. 
I am not Puerto Rican, I am oh, not shit. Cuban. See, that's the Spanish hierarchy, man. So if goes ever meet somebody, they assume I'm one of the three. That's fucked up, alright? Seriously, I mean, like, do you assume every black person you meet is like from fucking Africa? Yeah. I mean, do you? Oh, somebody said yes. Oh, Jesus Christ, no, I'm not talking to that person. Like alright. No, but at the same time, I'm also like a fucking nerd, okay? Like, I grew up and, you know, like, just playing video games all the time. And, you know, I take a lot of, like, life lessons from that shit. And I try to, like, relate that to my day-to-day -day life, okay? Let me give you an example, all right? Um, I was calling in sick to work the other day, and I was like, Yeah, guys, I can't go to work today. I, I've been poisoned. Yeah, I went to the doctor, he gave me a blue herb. I didn't have a green herb to take with it, so I'm going to be, you know, sick for a couple of more days. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. That shit works, man. It does. My mom fell for it. Yeah, mom, I'm more than late for dinner. Yeah, I can't make it on time. I'm lost in the forests. Yeah, I have this navigator who just keeps saying hey, listen all the time. Yeah, don't worry. I, I'll be there soon enough. I'll bring you all the bombs and arrows I find, okay? <laughs> yeah, I love you. Bye. See ya. Okay. God, I, I guarantee you my parents regret buying the Nintendo as a kid, all right? Like, what were they thinking? You know, like, oh, it's, it's kind of like a computer. I mean, if we buy it for him, he's gonna, like, you know, like, study harder and, like, you know, make something out, out of his life, right? Wrong. Doesn't work out. I actually, like, um, tried that same life shit later on with a job interview, because I was, like, really nervous. You know, I didn't really feel confident. I wanted to be, like, big and strong, you know? So, like, right before I went to the job interview, I decided to take a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't really work out too well, okay? The entire time I was just yelling around the, the office and like spraying my feces on the walls. <laughs> Didn't really work yet, yeah, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, but at the same time, too, I actually watched a lot of TV. Um, like, you guys remember that show Ace of Cakes? Yeah. yeah. They canceled that shit. I was surprised, man. I'm like, why? This show is awesome. And at the same time, like, when I was watching that shit, like, since I'm a huge Motorhead fan, whenever that show came on, I was like, The Ace of Cakes! The Ace of Cakes! And, like, I did this every chance I could get, so, like, whenever I was, like, hanging out with friends or, you know, like, whatever, they're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just singing Ace of Cakes like it was Ace of Spades. I'm sorry? Yeah. I love Motorhead, man. Like, I mean, like, uh, that shows my age, like, how I like a band like this at this point now. Because, like, I'm getting to my 30s, unfortunately. And, um, like, I realize now that I'm old enough to, like, start resenting the current generation of kids, but I'm still young enough to do something about it, okay? Like, literally, like, one of my favorite things to do is go on Wikipedia and just make shit up, okay? I'll go on there and be like, yeah, Abe Lincoln, he freed the Jews. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. And I did that because, like, I mean, like, it's so easy for kids to get by now. I mean, like, when I was a kid, like, I had to do a report. Like, I had to go to the library. Like, now you can just fucking go, like, you know, just go online and get this shit done. You know? I mean, that's fucking crazy. Like, I mean, I would ask, like, even then, like, going to the library was, like, a deal for me because I had to ask my dad for a ride. And he wouldn't always give it to me because he didn't want another DUI. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And even then, back in the day, I didn't even have the educational show, like, channels to watch. Like, I couldn't just bullshit a report out of, like, watching the Discovery Channel. No. Like, I had to, like, watch Nickelodeon and, like, pray to God and, that, like, right in Sippy would talk about the Revolutionary War. <laughs> <laughs> this is fourth grade Leo. I have my report on the Revolutionary War. Uh, George Washington was a general during the war. He was also our first president. And he also had a pet chihuahua that would call him an idiot. <laughs> also a farting cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but let me move on a little bit. Uh, who here does drugs? Woo! Yeah, who smokes weed, man? Exactly, that's some sweet ass shit. I realize now, out of like doing drugs for so fucking long, that you know you're good at something if you can do it while you're completely fucked up on fucking weed or whatever, alright? Like, there was a picture for the Pittsburgh Pirates, his name was Doc Ellis, alright? Yeah, break out the smartphones, okay? Seriously, you can look this shit up if you want to. He pitched a no hitter while completely messed up on LSD. That, like, this is fucking fact, alright? And I would just love to hear the play-by-play -play on that shit. Bottom of the night, two strikes, two outs. Pirates up by two. Doc Ellis is one pitch away from pitching a no-hitter. He is now fooling at the mouth. He is also completely disrobed and... 
He's either winding up for the pitch or fighting off invisible demons. We really can't tell from the booth here, ladies and gentlemen. But there's the pitch strike. Pirates win the game. They're rushing on the field to grab top. He is now defecating into his own glove. As is tradition. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Please, Tim Austin, a lot of money. Thank you, guys. Stay free, all right? This fucking comedy marathon. You guys are the real heroes. Give yourself a round of applause. I got serious about that. You guys, we'll be back on February 8th. Please tell your friends. Take care of our awesome, your bartender. Thank you so much again for coming out. Have a great night. Drive safe, guys.